All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So I decided to do this video as off commentary, so you're still going to get your uh, Satellite Knights in the background, but I'm not going to be focusing on duels, so I can focus on uh, my regional recap. So, of course, I went to Utah Regionals this past weekend, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you how the tournament went down. So uh, thank you guys for being so cooperative. I am still sick, but you know, I'm going to power through and make sure I get all these videos for you guys. Uh, the channel's just been kind of wavy lately, you know, Definitely been losing a nice chunk of subscribers, but it's fine, you know, as long as I got the people who definitely love and support me, you know, remaining subscribed and, and continue to support me, then I'll be totally fine. But, you know, it just sucks that I had to get sick, and, you know, there's just so much going on this week that I was like, you know what, I can't take the week off, you know. Not only do I have to give you guys a tournament report, give you guys a deck profile, but then uh, there's a lot of things happening in real life changes that uh, you guys will be getting uh, later this week, and you guys will be totally surprised for it, definitely. So, um... Uh, I'm just going to be here to go ahead and give you guys the tournament report. So, yes, Utah Regionals, once again, went back. And um, hopefully I was hoping to do much better than last time. Last time I went with uh, Satella Star Sheriffs, and I did so bad. And it scrubbed out so easily that it was kind of ridiculous. You know, uh, and I learned I learned that Satellers should just stay Satellers. They don't need the Star Sheriff engine, you know. In Shadals, they've kind of stepped away from the Star Sheriff engine as well. They kind of went to... Uh, more of the Clown Blade engine, which is interesting, because now neither one of those decks that ran this is the Star Surf engine are running it, so, you know, should the Star Surf engine be hit at this point? I mean, probably not, because no one's playing it anymore. Is it still a good engine? Yeah, but just no one wants to touch it, so, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Kind of interesting when things uh, fall out of popularity that, you know, they maybe need to get hit in the past, but now they get Power Creek Thor just not played anymore, and now they're okay. Anyway... I went with my Tower Turbo deck, you know, lots of hate on the Tower Turbo, everybody hates the Tower Turbo. Uh, I just wanted to go with it, you know, as you guys know, my luck is booty, my luck is just terrible. So I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and try to sack my opponent, let me drop that tower, you can't get over it, then awesome, I win, you know. And sometimes it went like that, so other times it didn't, but uh, overall I had a pretty fun time. Uh, if you're wondering, you know, who all went two times the amount of people last time, um, you know, last time there were five people, this time the same five people went. Plus five more, so two times the amount of people, two two times the rooms now, yeah, we got two rooms this time, and uh, same locals, same lo same place, uh, yeah. and there's a little bit more people, uh, I think there's 171 people who entered, and yeah, yeah. so before I begin on my tournament report, I must say, <laughs> when we got there, uh, we got there on Friday, we got there on Friday, and uh, a handful of us in the group decided, oh, let's go ahead and go to locals and, and to the locals and check out the, the place, make some trades, play some duels. None of them took their main deck. They all took a different deck just to, you know, try to trip up their opponents, which uh, sometimes it works. Some, some of them were like, wait, didn't you play this deck yesterday? Like, no, 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 I'm playing this deck today. So, but I didn't go. And it kind of sucks because there was actually some uh, viewers slash subscribers slash supporters there, and I wasn't there the first day. I did not go on Friday. I only showed up on the day of the tournament, and I didn't get to meet none of them. Uh, my friend Jesse that I met last time had work, so I didn't get to see him, and I, I really didn't get to meet anybody, so that kind of sucks. So, you know, I was hoping that I get to go ahead and meet some of my uh, viewers slash supporters there, and I didn't get to meet none of them, so here. But anyway, on the day of... It was just annoying. Like, the, the, the little memes of lines were just blowing up, you know. One of them was, of course, what are those? That Everybody and their mother was just running around screaming, what are those? Like, oh my god, okay. But one... Super annoying. It's the whole. It's John Cena, you know. And everybody go do 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 do. This one guy would say it every three fucking minute, every single. T it would just be over and over and over again. John Cena, John Cena, John Cena, John Cena. It was like so fucking annoying. It was like we just wanted to go ahead and get up and tell this man to shut the fuck up. No more John Cena. So we sat there and we were, just when we were about to get up and tell him to shut the fuck up, he walked behind the counter and put on a shirt. And guess what shirt that was? Yup, it was a judge shirt. Awesome. So the judge is the one being annoying and won't shut the fuck up. And no balls. You're not gonna go out to him and be like, shut the fuck up with that John Sheena shit, get DQ'd. So we just held our tongues and dealt with his bullshit for the rest of the day. So that was fucking awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the tournament report. So, um if you're wondering, you know, what's the deck profile? The deck profile is actually gonna be live. It's actually gonna be uh, my live video for this upcoming Thursday. So look forward to that. So you get the tournament report now and you get the deck profile on Thursday. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So round one, I dueled up against 
Infernoids, yes, and Infernoids are actually uh, one of Tower Turbo's weaknesses. It's uh, Tower Turbo, I mean, it's, in, it's Infernoids because uh, Anuchu can destroy the towers and, you know, proceed to rack. You know, not only does Anuchu can kill towers with effect because it's level 10 and towers are not affected by monsters lower than level 10, but Anuchu is 10, but then um, Anuchu's effect to go ahead and tribute a monster to negate a spell or trap, and mostly spells, sucks as well. So... One of the worst matchups, along with uh, Mirror Match, because they can also get around Tower Turbo, and uh, Necros, because with the size of armor, they can also get over Tower Turbo. Uh, I guess you could say Cosmos too, but, you know, they're a little bit shaky. Like, if they don't get Honest or Limited Removal, they can get over Towers, and uh, since generally they don't play too much back row, you know, it's not just Tower Knights applying pressure, but others as well, so... But yeah, I definitely say those three. Those are the three who I was prepared to duel against. Infernoids, Mirror Match, and Necros. And you will see it on my side deck that I was prepared to duel those three decks. So the first duel I go up against is Infernoids. And that's pretty much me. I mean, not, um, yeah, Infernoids is just one of my uh, weaker decks. So uh, I actually got lucky. And the reason I got lucky is that for some reason the guy decided to go ahead and go with pure Infernoids. And run Infernoid cards that you generally don't see in Infernoid decks. Uh, no Light Swords, just pure Infernoids. And also, Lucky, uh, he never got a reason, so the duel went very slow. Uh, you know, I, I dropped the first turn towers on him, um, he really, he didn't have the Nuchu, he couldn't get the reason, he couldn't get the draw, he pretty much got beat round one. Uh, round two, uh, he decided to go ahead and go first. He played his Void, uh, I forgot what it's called, Void something, that lets you search for a Void card. So he decided to go ahead and search for Void Trap Hold, like, yeah, that's not going to work. Because, of course, when you special summon a monster, it's 2,000 attack. As soon as the cleats hit the, the field from being special, they, they're 18. So that wasn't going to work. Uh, and the guy actually realized that he decided to go ahead and put it back in the sh and get his one guard that's like, uh, I think it's like when in a foreign aid monster... I forgot what he got. I forgot what he got. I think he got the one trap card where he can send the two infernoids. Uh, yeah, he got that one. And he just went really slow, like I said, he never got a reasoning both duels, and I pretty much crushed it. Uh, he actually stopped me uh, from uh, summoning my towers first turn, you know, I was like, alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and punch him summon two, and he's like, that's fine, that's like, equip the sacrifice. And he was like, sacrifice, MST. Broke my, uh, and I said I only punch him summon two, I had the towers in my hand, which is interesting, because I actually said, uh, into the void, and to get the extra draw, because I was like, okay, I got this. He put the sacrifice, you know, tribute them, summon towers. Uh, he MST the Sacrifice, which sucked, but of course I got my Search, uh, Tribute 2 for, uh, the two monsters, I, I believe I searched for, I can't remember if I searched for Shell or for Stealth, but one of the two, Tribute those two, um, and proceed to do, and put in work despite summoning Towers, but, you know, during my end phase, I had to go ahead and pitch the Towers that I just searched for, because it went to the Void, so that kind of sucked, he stopped me, he stopped me, he definitely did. But it was still just too much pressure. He it was too slow with it, and I ended up tooling him round one. So pretty good, pretty good. You know, started off pretty strong. Yeah, you know, I thought I was gonna get unlucky, but I actually got very lucky. I won the dice roll, put up the tower turbo. So no complaints. I didn't even side. I didn't even side. Uh, moving on to uh, game. Oh well, round two. I duel up against Yusenju. Yes, Yusenju. And uh, little did I know that Yusenju can actually, if they open up just perfectly, they can get around Tower Turbo. So I'll go ahead and go first. Uh, I opened up fantastically. I won the dice roll. And I opened up just fan-fucking-tastic. Like, he cuts me and I open up, like, I think I opened up, like, a scout and, like, two summoner starts. It's just like, whoo, that's so good. So I dropped the first turn towers. This guy actually misplays and messes up. So he opens up well, you know, despite me saying, you know, summoning towers and saying send a monster, he still opened up really well. Uh, you know, he plays tank, he got his surge, he summoned Karma 2, Karma 3, and uh, Sujik. So he went into the battle phase, Karma 3 attacking directly, go ahead and search for Sujik. And this is where he fucked up. He didn't activate Sujik's effect on field uh, before going into the battle phase, which would of course be like Sujik's effect increased Karma 3 by 1,000, making uh, Karma 3 go up to 25. Then when Karma 3 would hit directly, Karma uh, I mean, when Comet 2 hit directly, Comet 3, I'm getting this probably confused, but the one that searches would go ahead and search for another Sujik, attack, Sujik, because you can use both effects per, once per turn. Go ahead and go up by another thousand, go up to 35, but he totally forgot to do that, and he lost. He, he proceeded to lose. I applied too much pressure, he lost. So, he uh, scoops it up, we go ahead and go into game 2, he sides in. I didn't side anything. Uh, excuse me, I am still sick. We try to power through this, but... Uh, he goes ahead and sides. So, I, he once again allows me to go ahead and go first, which is kind of dangerous, because I can jump tower turbos, but, you know, he was like, I'm going to get that additional draw, and I'm going to get out to the tower turbo. Like, okay. So, I dropped the tower. 
He goes ahead and does it. He activates pots and reveals like nothing that can help him. Then he proceeds, and this is actually pretty cute. He plays Hidden Armory and searches for Moon Mirror Shield. Like, oh, that's cute. That's cute. So you're going to get my towers with Moon Mirror Shield. Okay, okay. So then he was like, no, something one of my send you? He's like, no, no, no. He's like, what? Like, remember? Hidden Armory. You can't normal or set. And pot, you can't smash it. You can't summon at all this turn. So that's awesome. So he's like, oh, okay. So uh, at this point, he had two monsters in hand, the Moon Mirror Shield. He takes one card and sets it and passes it. Then, like, draw. He's like, MS, he's like, MST, your uh, scout. I'm like, that's fine. I play a different scale. Go ahead and uh, Pendulum Summon 2. and I mean, Pendulum 3, tribute them, and bam, another tower. Two towers. So I'm like, tower effect. Take that monster out of your hand. Tower effect, take that monster out of your hand. So he has no monsters. All he has is Moon Mirror Shield. So he's hoping to go ahead and top deck into a monster with, to use the Moon Mirror Shield. Um, I hit him for the 6,000, he only has 2,000 left, he draws into another MST, and then that's it. So, he pretty much messes it up, like I said. It's cute that you went ahead and did the whole hidden armory thing for the Moon Mirror Shield, but I, I would have just played in, uh, you know, uh, another Moon Mirror Shield. It would have been literally the same result, so. <sighs> so, that's it. I am now uh, 2-0, oh, which is great. It's great. I'm doing really well. Really well doing. Really lucky. So, the funny thing is, is that before the tournament started, I was like, to all my friends in the group that we did, I was like, share your luck with me. And they're like, okay. And I pretty much siphoned all the luck at them. Like, they, I pretty much everybody, uh, good majority of the group, all lose round one. Well, I'm winning round one. All putting up fantastic. So, after round two, they're like, give us our luck back. And they stole it back from me. So, going back in, into the tournament, round three, I go up against Infernoids again. And I go first. Uh, I opened up uh, Tower Turbo because he wants his Astral, but he always me to go first because in front I, I, I dropped the Tower Turbo. This man proceeds to go uh, Charger Light Brigade, Charger Light Brigade, Solar Recharge, Reasoning. He just fills up his graveyard, drops in Nuchu, and whoops my ass. So it's just like scoop. Like, wow, all right. Because Nuchu, like I said, Nuchu can take out Tower, so that sucks. Uh, so I go ahead and I'm like, you know what? Tower Turbo is not going to work against this guy. You know, if I commit all the towers and he summons that neutral, I'm going to lose. So I decided to go ahead and side in. And I have multiple side cards for him. I think I have like at least five to seven side cards. So I'll go ahead and put them all in. Um, and once again, uh, I decided to go ahead and go first. And uh, since I open up Wavering Eyes, I actually go plus because of the Wavering Eyes. So not only am I able to drop towers on him, but I also have a, uh, a lose one turn as well. So, you know, towers plus lose one turn. He's like, screw it, I can't get anything, I scoop. So, uh, we go ahead and go on to game three. Game three is the worst, and it made me so sad. So, uh, like I said, I have a lot of side cards for the Inferno guy. Uh, he lets me go first again. I go ahead and open my hand, and I don't get any of my side cards. None. All I get is just Tower Turbo shit. So, I'm like, okay, fuck it. So, I go ahead, and I'm just like, let's drop Towers. Hopefully, he doesn't have the Nuchu. We'll draw ahead and drop Towers. So, I drop Towers. Done my end phase, bottle list of fact, draw three. I draw into Black Horn of Heaven, Vanity's Emptiness, and Lose One Turn. All three of them all ready to go. Like some bullshit, right? He draws. He's like, MST your scout, MST your monolith. I have exactly three Infernoids and a Nuchu, banish them, bam, a Nuchu. It's like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, that's how he opened. So he not only did he break my scales, but he also killed my towers. Now I gotta deal with the Nutri. And all I have is Blackhorn, Van Deef, and Losing Turn, which are all too slow. It's the Nutri's already there. So I fucking draw, summon, I set my back row, I draw into Carrier, I summon it. Then I'm like, you know, during the draw phase, Van I was hoping to go ahead and get him to tribute the Nutri to Van and then hit, to get him to negate the Vanities. I had the loser turn to Blackhorn, he didn't take the bait, and I lost. So essentially, I lost because he got lucky and got the tips. Like, if he just, if it was just, you know, Onu banished the three Nutri summon, and, I mean, banished the three summon Nutri kill my towers, i had been fine. If if it was just the, you know, the MSTs and not the Nutri, I'd be fine. But the combination of them both, and the fact that I got my cards a turn too fucking late. Blackhorn, fucking, banish three summon Nutri, Blackhorn, huh? Uh, banish, you know, go ahead, if I had the Vanities, during the draw phase, Vanities, you know, gotcha, you know? And, uh, that would've been fine as well. Uh, lose one turn. Lose one turn is chainable, so as soon as you banish a 3-7 you you know, like effect, nope, lose one turn, go to defense, you know? So I would've had it, but nope, he just, he just drew so perfectly, and I didn't get, I was just one card too late, and that sucks, so he ends up, uh, beating me, uh, 1-2, and now I'm 2-1. and one. So, round four, I go up against Necros, and Necros are one of my worst matchups, I hate Necros, they are just too fucking good, they're like fucking Dragon Ruler, it's like, you gotta fucking, like, just kill them to fucking make them bearable, you know, 
Like, they are just re-fucking-diculous. So, um, I we roll the die. He allows me to go first, so I drop the tower turbo. And this is where I fuck up, because I didn't know I was going against Necros. I'm like, Mono Lace, draw my three. I have stuff in the radio, stuff in the field, stuff in my hand. He goes ahead and proceeds to drop the trash, get me, fucking, uh, search for the, uh, the dice of armor, attack over my towers, and I'm just already fucked. So I'm just like, alright, you know what, let's just go ahead and scoop. So we go into game two. I go ahead and decide, because like I said, Tower Turbo ain't going to work against them, so I might as well go ahead and go to normal quiz. And I have a handful of sides. I'd say I have at least seven to nine cards, just for cards in my side deck. So I go ahead and side them in. Uh, and I open up with some of them. I, I'll go ahead and open up with uh, Lose One Turn, and I was uh, playing Mask of Restraint for the mirror match, and for Necros, because, you know, tributing when they ritual summon. I was like, alright, let's go ahead and go with these. So I open up with them. He proceeds. I was like, alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and summon my clean monster, set those two pass. He was like, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and play Eccentric. Eccentric. Pop. You know. So there goes one of them. Then he, I think he pops my Master Strict, so I still don't lose a turn. Then he's like, summon Ice Hand, tack, pop, Fire Hand, tack, pop, summon Ice Hand, tack, directly. And this at this point, I'm just losing resources, so I'm just like, fuck. So I play my chicken game, pay the thousand draw, and try to protect myself, right? So this guy, he starts building up more resources. So he's like, you know what? Pay the chicken game, thousand draw. So he draws. And he proceeds to go off. He, like, goes off, you know. Um, he pretty much kicks, he, he drops the everything in the kitchen and another ANC. And I'm like, okay, well, at least I'm not gonna lose. I have lose one turn, my luck points are lower, so at least he can't kill me. And he saw, he trusts me again, and in my hand, uh, cause, uh, he, when he crashed his fire hand into my, my clean monster, I was equipped to sacrifice. So I ended up searching for, uh, uh, scout, and then I drew into Summoner's Arts, and I searched for Monolith, so I was like holding on to them, and I'm like, alright, well, at least I can, uh, Go ahead and have play. So he dropped, and I had an upstart. So he trishes me. He takes the upstart from my hand. I'm like, cool, I still have a play. You know, the chicken game, he already paid a thousand to draw. I'm still good. I have a, I can come back into the door. He's like, MST the chicken game, tack game. Like, oh my god. Yep, so I get I get crushed. Oh, and did I mention? I haven't mentioned, of course. He opens up shrit both duels. Like, alright. So, like, when they took their luck back, they took it back because I just started going downhill and it was just booty. It was just booty. So, now I'm two and two. Uh, I still have a chance to top, and by top, I mean get top 24 and get my invite, you know, 171 people, if, I get, if you get up 20, 24 or higher, you get your invite to nationals, and that's really all I wanted, like, fuck top A, I don't care, but I really wanted my invite to nationals, just to be like, hey, I got my invite to nationals, so, uh, moving on, uh, round 5, I go up against Ritual Beast, so, uh, game one, he opens up so ass, like, I just proceed to just whoop his ass, I don't even know what deck he's playing, because he doesn't get any monsters, and I just beat the shit out of him, you know, he must have drawn, you know, steeds and ambush, and had no monsters, and I beat the shit out of him, going to game two, he goes in and starts, decides to start, and he goes, he does his wombo combo, goes to town, and I'm like, oh, it's Ritual Beast, and, you know, Ritual Beast, either they open up like booty, or they open up like stupid, so he would be stupid, and, you know, every time I summon, he steeds me, then he would go and steeds me, and steeds me, and steeds me, and, you know, it's like in front of you. It's like you get to search for your damn trap card and then you get to lock me down. It really sucks. So I was like, scoop. You know, go to game three. Game three, I go ahead and drop the towers. Uh, he couldn't handle it first turn, so he's trying to get set up for his, uh, his Gaia Pelio. So by that time, I drop another tower, so I have two towers. So on uh, his turn, he goes off. He takes like a five minute turn. He's like, use Leo effect, increase my attack. Then he summons uh, Ulti Gaia Pelio, and he's like, oh, attack, because, you know. I'm minus 500, but then I gained the 500 from Leo, so now I'm back down. Thir I'm back up to 32. I'm like, I have two towers on the field, minus 1,000. And he's like, oh, fuck. So he just scoops, and I win. So I beat uh, uh, Ritual Beast 2-1. Uh, uh, so now I'm 3-2, and two, and, you know, still have a chance to top. <coughs> so, round 6. I essentially, I duel the exact same duel. Essentially the exact same duel. Another Ritual Beast guy. I'd say he wasn't as good as the first guy I dueled because he had no idea what my plays were. Like, he was like, wait, what does this do? Wait, how do I get around this? Wait, what do I do? So, I should you not. He was like, he was like, he was like, Towers is 3,000, right? I'm like, yes. He's like, he can't get any stronger. I'm like, no, it's unaffected by spells and traps. So, even my Pendulum scales to, you know, it's like, oh, Clean Monster's increased by 300. I'm like, no, I'm unaffected. So, 3,000. And I even told him, he's like, is there any other effects? I'm like, any special monster gets minus 500 attack. He's like, okay. So, he goes ahead and does his play. He freaking uh, searches for his uh, quick play spell. The one that's like, oh, banish to special summon uh, one of the fusion monsters in summon the summoning condition. So, he goes ahead and do that. Summons his ulti guy, Pelio. And he's like, okay, I'm attack, I'm 32. I'm like, minus 500. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'll special monsters minus 500. And he's like, oh my god, fuck, scoop. So, uh, so, uh, drop towers on him first game. And he didn't even know how to handle it. So, I went. 
Uh, then we go on to game two. He goes first. He opens up the tents and locks me out pretty much. Every time I summon, he's like, you know, uh, steed, 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 steeds. And I'm just like, all right, that's game. So we go ahead and go on to game three. Drops another towers on him. He didn't even nearly open up well enough. He actually opened up with vanities and macro. And then I was like, towers can't send. So, and every time I kill his monster, he's getting banished. So he's just drawing, setting, drawing, setting. And, you know, I can't even push for more damage. I can't pendulum summon and overextend because I can't special summon. But then I can't get rid of the vanities because of macro. So the vanities macro combo, he locked me down. But eventually he just doesn't draw any monsters because if he doesn't draw any monsters, I'm slapping you in the face for 3,000. So, he just ran out of monsters, and I won. Yeah, so, that's uh, round six, so now I'm four and two. I still have a chance to top. So, moving on to round seven, I go up against Clanboy Channels. So, I go ahead and go, he allows me to go first. I drop the first round towers. I'm like, tower defense, go ahead and send the monster. And he's like, oh, send Clanboy, Clan I mean, trick clown, trick clown, pay thousand, come back. Like, oh, okay, got So, the guy was actually dumb. It was actually pretty dumb. I go first, right? I'm like, I'm like, set one of my scales. I'm like, you know, scout, social rat. I'm like, set my pendulum scale, my other one. And he's like, that's fine. I'm like, pendulum summon. He's like, max C. He drops it and draws a card. I'm like, that's an inherent summon. You can't chain to that. Yo, no. If you want to drop max C, you would be dropping it after my summon resolution. You wouldn't be drawing shit. So the guy trying, he's trying to argue with me, and it was so stupid. It was so stupid. Anyway, uh, he has a trick line of him. He draws. Uh, he summons another level 4, I don't remember, but he goes in Diamond Crab King, crashes in my tower. It's like, okay, set some, uh, sets a, a card and passes it to me. So I'm drawing, I'm like, okay, well, uh, I'm trying not to be open with my play, so I'm like, alright, let me go ahead and just Pendulum Summon 3 and then search for not my second towers, because generally people only play one Diamond Crab King and I run two towers. That's the reason why I run two towers. So I'm like, pay a thousand, I mean, I'm like, Pendulum Summon 3, and he was like, bottomless? Like, fucking course you have bottomless. So, and I was like, fucking pass. I was like, there you go, pass. So then he, uh, no, I no, 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 no. I, I normal summon, because I still kept a monster in my hand. I'm like, normal summon, pay, uh, and go ahead and equip the sacrifice. So this, this guy proceeds to just tear apart my skills. He's like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and activate El Shadal Fusions and Trick Clans and the Shadal. Go ahead and summon Constructs and Drag, I think he sent, like, uh, Hedgehog and Search, and then Constructs and Dragon, pop my scale. And, um, yeah, he, just, he had, he had, uh, one more piece of background. So he can see that I'm running out of resources. Like, he sees I'm running out of resources. But I have a summoner on it, and I was holding on to someone, so he kills my scout. I draw, then he's like, the last piece of background, he's like, Sinister Shadow Games, you know, Sun Dragon, pop the monolith, too. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cute. So I'm like, you know, summoner's art, summoner's art, go ahead and search me for a scout, scout, go ahead and search me for a stealth, set my other scale, pendulum summon, tribute, bam, stealth, bounce your construct. Uh, he normally summoned the Skomata and tried to attack me with that too, and I'm like, bounce your uh, construct, you know, course, no effect, kill your uh, Skomata, and then I just proceeded to beat him down. He had, like, no cards left, so I won. So despite getting Diamond Crab King to kill my towers and bottomless three of my Pendulum Summon monsters, I still won that duel. Because he got greedy, and I had the plays. Of course, you know, the comeback is real when you get that scout. No complaints there. So, uh, game two... Uh, I go ahead and side in. I'm like, all right, well, he has no way to get around my tower trap, so let me go ahead and side against him. So I put in my lose one turns, and I put in my vanities. I think that's how I put it, is my lose one turns and my vanities in. So, uh, he does, he decides to go first. He sets a card, sets a monster, sets a card. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, draw it. I'm thinking, I'm like, <coughs> what flip monster I actually draw into uh, lose one turn and vanities? But none of them are like, I don't have enough for tower trap, which is fine. Because I'm not planning on doing that, but I drew into two of my side cards. So I'm like, what can his flip monster do? You know, if it's if it's dragon, you know, bounce me back. I'll just pendulum summon. If it's uh, you know, Skomata, pop me. You know, I'll, I'll summon. Uh, it shouldn't be Falco because Falco won't even get its effect. And if it's Hedgehog to search, I have the vanity, so I can just block the shit off fusion. So I'm like, fuck it. Normal summon attack. It was a dragon, so he's like, bounce. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So I set my scales, and as soon as I set my scale, he was like, vanity emptiness is like cute like okay okay i see you but it's funny because i get the vanity emptiness so i set my two cards on this one turn and my vanity emptiness while well, he has the vanity emptiness. he draws summons a hat tricker attacks me for like 11 I'm like okay summon my clue monster that you bounce a dragon attack he loses his clown he loses his vanities and at that point he really doesn't get anything like i proceed to just kick his butt just beat him down attack 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 attack, attack. i never even activate the vanities or the lose one turn and i just beat him i just beat him there was actually one point where i had um, one of my scales was the plus 300, the, the lower scale was the plus 300 all clean monsters, and I had a tribute summoned, uh, uh, stealth, so I was like, 
attack for game, and he was like, you know, play my uh, little hat guy. Or was it, I think it was damage juggle, like damage juggle, I block the damage. I was like, okay. He had 22, I was like, attack for 21 with my other creep monster that I normal summoned. He was like, that's fine. He's like, I got 100 left. I'm like, main phase 2, wavering eyes, GG. So, I ended up 2 owing uh, Conblake Shadal, which is just great. Yeah. So, I'm almost there. There's only 8 rounds. I only have one more round. If I win this, I will top and get my invite. And now you're probably wondering, like, okay, well, we see the title, and you're like, what, what, what the fuck is this title? All right, la final round, final fucking round. If I win, I get the invite. If I don't, then the chances are really slim. I go up against Necros again, and like I said, Necros are probably my worst matchup. I can, I can probably deal with the mirror. Like I said, mirror match is bad. Didn't face any mirror matches. Didn't face any burning bins. Didn't face any Satellers. Just Infernoids, Necros, uh, <laughs> uh, Ritual Beast, and one Yusenjin. It's just like, okay, okay, sure. Oh, uh, and Shadals. But, uh, and one Shadal. But yeah, Necros again. And this Necro player was not that good. So we go ahead and game one, I dropped the tower turbo. Uh, I didn't open up the model, so of course I didn't draw, so he couldn't trish me. Uh, but I dropped the tower, right? So he goes ahead and gets into the side and runs some more towers. I'm like, okay, okay. So I'm like, you know what, let's go ahead and drop the second towers. Fuck it. You know, I got nothing better to do, so I'm like, drop the second towers. This man proceeded to just play around towers, wasting fucking time. The first duel lasted 25 minutes. He could have won the first duel. He, he, would, he would go like, all right, search for Unicorn. Summon Unicorn. It's like, you know you could just use Unicorn to get back this size of armor and attack over me? You know, you could do that, right? And he, you realize it. I played the chicken game, paid a thousand draw card. Then he would be like, all right, well, I can't do any damage to you with chicken game on field, right? I'm like, no. Because my life points so low. He's like, okay. I end my turn. Like, he didn't even play my chicken game. It's so dumb. So I ended up winning game one because he just couldn't figure out that he could get his decision on back. And he lost. Game two. Game two was so fucking slow. Like, I opened up into a majority of my side. I, open, I get the Master Restrict, lose one turn, the Vanny's empty, and the Stampere Iron Wall. I get the tits. I get the fucking tits. But I get no fucking monsters. So I'm just, I just set back row. But then he didn't want to commit to any summoning. So it was literally fucking cool minute. It was just like, draw, pass, draw, pass, draw, pass. And I wasn't drawing any monsters. I, when, I start, when I drew into some monsters, he rejected them. And every time I set my pendulum scale, he would break it with MSTs. Which is okay, I guess, because, you know, I still would have my hate for him. So while he's wasting MSTs on my scales, I still got the hate. Uh, <clears throat> so, I was just drawing the crap, I was like, draw, wavering eyes, I don't have my scale, so that's fucking useless, draw, fucking towers, like, what the fuck is that gonna do, you know, draw, monolith, like, can't summon him, you know, there's actually one point in the duel where I drew into a second monolith, and I was like, monolith, monolith, wavering eyes, go ahead and search me for a clean monster, and I started attacking, then I drew into my third monolith, right, so, he has, this is when he, at the point where he actually starts pushing, so he started, I'm like, you know, activate this background, activate this background. He's like, nope, nope, block with that, block with that, block with that. I'm like, okay. So he summons his unicorn, and I'm like, lose one turn. So he goes to the defense belt, right? Passes his turn. I'm like, you know, unicorn, has, I think, has like a thousand defense. So I'm like, all right. Uh, you know, I can't, believe, I can't remember. I think it was Helix. So I was like, Helix, attack. And attack with the unicorn. And he was like, no, block with uh, uh, Valk. I'm like, okay. Well, you know what? If he goes, he's gonna go attack my next turn. He's gonna attack on my cleave. I'm not gonna have anything. So I'm gonna tribute a helix for monolith, 24. Like helix effect, go ahead and destroy one of your back rows. I can't remember what destroyed, but it was nothing. So he has one piece of back row left. So he draws. He summons no one summons a monster. I can't remember. I think it was like the the the, the uh, sorcery, the necros of the the 1500 normal summoned one that you can't remember. I can't remember the name of fucking necros monster. Turns shit to attack. Attacks me, and then he's like, Book of Moon. So Book of Moon is my fucking monolith. I can't summon anything stronger than that. I don't draw into shit, and I just end up losing. So I lost the game, too. At this point, I think we have, like, four minutes before we go into time. So uh, we go ahead and try to start and start game three. <coughs> now, uh, he proceeds to kick. He kicks my ass. He kicks my ass. He kicks my ass. He kicks my ass. Every time I fucking would get, like, one of my pieces of background, he would break it. He, he, he uh... Fairy Wind, fucking, like, three of my side cards and my fucking scale was terrible. But at the end, all right, we'll just go ahead and skip because I can't remember all the details. We'll go ahead and skip into, we're in time, right? I have 1,600. He has, like, 7,000 life points. You know, we're in time. It's the second to last turn. He has nothing. I'm pure on wall. I have attributed stealth, right? So uh, he has nothing. He draws into a card. Sets it. Draws, sets. And says, okay. 
as a, and past the minions, like, last fucking turn, I need to go ahead and do this. And the one way I could do this, as I have my skill set, I pendulum summon two, pay 800, search for, scale, search for uh, shell, I'll be at 800, tribute those two monsters for shell, shell 28, 28, and the other the stealth I'm going to fill, 28 game, I would win. So I'm like, alright, pendulum summon two, tribute those two, summon shell, book a moon. He top decked the motherfucking book of moon, and I couldn't shine enough damage for game, for in time. So he won, and, yep, he won. Because he top decked fucking Book of Moon, people. How much bullshit is that? If he didn't top that Book of Moon, I would have won. All he had in his hand was like a Trish, which he couldn't summon. He couldn't have any, he couldn't get any Mimiros because I had Imperial Iron Wall. So he couldn't summon, he had a Trish. Uh, he had a, what did he have? I think he had like a Unicorn, a Trish, and I think that's it. A Unicorn, a Trish, and then he top decked the Book of Moon. If he didn't top decked the Book of Moon, tribute. Summon shell, tack, 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 game. But nope, he top decked the Book of Moon. So he beat me with Book of Moon twice, games two and fucking three. And I lost. Uh, I, I went X and three. And I got, I dropped, got dropped down to 35th place. While he, because he beat me, he went up to 16th. So he top 16 because he beat me by top decking Book of Moon. It was just like, oh my god, so devastating. So fucking devastating, people. Just like, wow, he top decked Book of Moon. Like, why? So, there you go, people. There is the tournament report. So, 35 out of 171. It's not bad, but it's just like, wow. Like, really, Pokemon? Really? God. Anybody who thinks Pokemon can go up to multiples, no, go fuck yourself. Pokemon's so fucking good. So, yep, lost because of a fucking book. Lost because of a fucking book. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call that. So, I am totally out of breath. I'm tired and holy shit. <laughs> that took a lot of me to go ahead and talk, sit here and talk. So... I hope you guys hope that you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm trying to get you guys all your videos for this week, despite me being sick. Like I said, a lot of things are happening, and you will find out later in the week the big surprise. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow or today or whenever I get these videos up. Uh, I'm supposed to be, of course, uh, tagging with trains, and I will find a tag partner and we'll do that. I still have a lot of things to do. All right, people. Thanks for watching.